It's going on, Albert. I'm not sure if you saw the news, but um, Duke Johnson is signing to the to the 53 man roster after yesterday's game. Just what what are your thoughts about that? Your reaction and and obviously with his performance yesterday. Um, I think he did a great job of taking advantage of the opportunity he was given. He came in and did a lot of great things for us, and um, um, I think I think he do a lot of good things for us um, on the remaining of the season. So um, it's 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 good. It's a good thing for me. I think so, the team. Yeah, I know. I know you're a receiver, and of course, you like you like to get the targets. But uh, does it feel like does it, does it kind of feel a little just kind of that extra sense of pride, and maybe it feels even better when you're able to kind of kind of run run against a team, and they just can't stop you, and they just can't move that front. Does it just kind of feel even a little better, uh, or as the game kind of goes on, and you're having that success on the ground? Oh yeah, for sure. Everyone knows um, football starts with running the ball, and if you can get into a game and do that successfully you'll definitely have a good chance of winning a football game. So for us to get in there and, and get that done, um, it felt great. Um, so, yeah. Omar? Albert, I'm curious. After seeing you all these years with the fro and the and, and the cornrows, what went into the decision to cut it all off? Oh, uh, man. Um, no, no real, no real um, factor to, to really cut it. It was just kind of getting tired getting tired of it. Um, it's getting long. Helmet was kind of fighting inside the helmet of getting all the hair inside. You know, it'd be hot down here in Florida. So even though it's the winter, so um, yeah, I think it was just time to, time, time to cut it off. How do you feel about the performance that you guys had, uh, everybody stepping up in Jalen Waddle's uh, absence? Oh, uh, man, um, good. You know, when we can can get into a game and, and run the football well against, you know, a tough division opponent, it's always a plus on our side. Um, and then to, to go into a game with, with so much going on, you know, with, with COVID, you know, the roster changes for us to get in and, you know, focus and, you know, kind of face a little adversity at, at first, but to, you know, get things going and, and pull the game off, it was a, it's a good thing for the team. And one more question for you. Uh, the NFL and, and NFLPA recently made changes that basically said players can go get tests whenever they want to, um, and it's it's on the league. Do you think that that's a positive step in terms of keeping you guys safe? Um, I'm not too sure what was they their whole point up behind that, but um, you know, I only can 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 do what's for me at this moment, you know, test as much as possible, you know, stay masked up and um, keep my distance when 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 uh, time is, you know, we've we've done a good job as, as the Dolphins of, of being home and being at, at home on virtual. So I think our organization itself is doing a great job to keep us safe. So um, as long as we stay by the guidelines and do what we need to do, you know, outside the stadium, outside the field, um, I think everything will turn out good. Joe? Excuse me, Albert. Um, so the next ball game is on uh, on Monday night. I'm wondering if in your career, do you have a, a special sort of Monday night memory or moment or anything like that? Oh, man. Um, man, we've played, a, we've played a, some good Monday night football games. Not, nothing in particular that stands out to 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 make it, but you know the next one will, will be the best. So we're just looking forward to getting to these to getting to the Saints and um playing a, a, a good football game. Yeah, well maybe you can make a, a memory a special memory in New Orleans. That'd be cool. Um, sure. obviously the most important part is that it's a ball game, but just in general, what, do you like the idea of like hey everyone's watching and it's a big game? Does Monday feel like a big a big thing in you know, a big game? Uh, primetime football, that's what it's all about. Um, you know, everyone's watching Thursday night, Sunday night, Monday night. You know, even you know, we get done, you know, playing the game. We look forward to watching that Sunday night football game where, you know, leaving here after meetings on Thursday and, and getting settled down for that Thursday night football game. So, yeah, we know everyone's watching. Um, it's a time for, you know, people on other teams are watching. So to, to get out there and play in front of your peers, not just, you know, the fans is – it's special. So, you know, we all look forward to that, to those primetime games. Thanks, Albert. No problem. Omar? I want to ask you uh, to follow up on the question about the new COVID changes. They also put in an opportunity for guys to opt out again. Um, 
I, I know you did it last year. I don't know what your feelings were about it, whether you had regrets when you did it or, or, or didn't do it. Um, but is there any thought to that? And, and, and what would you recommend to guys who are considering that? Um, no, I have no regrets from last year. I think I did what's best for me, my family. Um, and, you know, it worked out pretty well for me. Um, you know, everyone stayed healthy. And, you know, fortunately, no one in, in my circle has, has gotten a virus. So, um, but as in off and out now, I think, like I said, I think our organization is doing a, a good job trying to stay, you know, proactive on, on all these things. But, you know, the, the season's coming to an end. It's, it's not too many more weeks. Uh, to go so I'm just trying to trying to you know do my part and um, you know stay stay ahead of this thing as much as possible.